Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Today I want to talk through circular references, but first of all don't forget to like, subscribe and comment below if you want any more information. So, first of all, we're looking at an Excel spreadsheet here of number of house sales in the UK over the last five years. At the bottom, we see the total. So that's the split out between the UK as a whole, and then we've got a subset of England, Scotland, Wales, and Northern Ireland. Now, if we look at Wales, this bottom figure tells us the total number of house sales over the last five years in Wales. But whenever we're looking at the rest of them, there seems to be an issue. So what are we going to do? We're going to look at these four steps on the side. So first of all, we're going to go to your formulas at the very top, click on error checking, the little arrow that breaks down, circular references, and there, find one. But what is the issue? You follow the next step, which is trace precedence. You'll click that up in the formulas bar, and it'll see that everything is linked. So what the circular reference is telling you is that this cell, C9, is actually linked to every cell from C4 to C9. Therefore, it's summing itself, and that would cause an issue. So what you can do is you can click the cell, press F2 on your keyboard, and you can see the full formula. So what you can do is just delete that out, type in 8, which brings you down the full length of this, press enter, and there's your figure. But yet we've got more issues around here, and we can see there's an inconsistent formula. Therefore, we can just run the process again, error checking, circular references, and there. So we can see that there is an issue, trace precedence, and it's exactly the same issue for Northern Ireland. So you click the cell, F2, and this time, this just delete it out, click here and drag, close off your bracket, press enter, and there it is. But we can see that we've still got issues here and here. Looking at cell C9, we can click and see that there's inconsistent formula. So if we look at the very top bar up here, in the formula bar, we can see that the summation is different. So instead of running through all of these processes again, what we can do is just click at the very bottom right corner of any of the cells that do work, like we've just checked, drag it across, and voila. And of course you can just format everything nicely. And you've got a nice table with your total at the bottom and everything working. So this is basically just a quick run through of how, how to do an error check and fix a circular reference. If you have any comments or any queries about anything to fix um, or any issues with Excel at all, please leave a comment below and we can definitely help. Thanks.